What's up guys? Welcome to Why We're Single, the GTA 5 gameplay trailer. Have you not seen it yet? If you haven't seen it yet, it's been out for a little while, you probably should have. And here at the office, we just keep talking about the stuff we hope we get to do in this game. I mean, it looks like it's going to be amazing. You've seen like scuba diving and there are animals running around. Who doesn't want to hunt an animal? But here's, uh, you, you know they've only revealed just a tiny portion of what's in that game. And here's uh, some stuff that we are hoping we're going to get to do in this game. Um, I know it's been kind of a rumor in the last game that he's around there, out there somewhere. My very first thing is I'm going Bigfoot hunting. I know he's in this game. I know he's got to be out there. Bigfoot is in GTA 5. I'm calling it now. I feel it in my bones. My Bigfoot hunting bones. He's out there. He's going to be an Easter egg somewhere in the game. I'm going to find him and maybe pop a cap in his head or something. You hear that, Bigfoot? I'm coming after you, Sasquatch. So I've been saying this for a long time, but uh, I think the one thing the GTA series is missing is some really, really cool multiplayer. And with this whole theme of bank heist, it would be awesome to have a bank heist themed multiplayer where one team's trying to rob the bank and the other team are the police responding. I sort of detailed this in a video I did for Clever a long time ago, but essentially the way it would work is like, at the very beginning you'd have like a uh, sort of Assassin's Creed type style of gameplay where the robbers are kind of blending in in the bank and then at a certain point they can initiate the robbery, tell everyone to get down, you know, where's the vault and all that kind of stuff and then they have to rob the bank. And then you have maybe some, some guys in there before the rest of the team responds that could spot people they think are robbers and that kind of stuff. It would definitely be cool and uh, a fun mode to see. I detail kind of more of what I think that mode should be like in the other video I did for Clever so if you want you could check that out on that channel. Now, I'll be completely honest, I haven't played a lot of the uh, GTA games, really. Actually, just what you've seen here on the channel, and I've had a blast with it. So what I want to see in the next one are just different, more complex, crazy, uh, like, multiplayer <laughs> modes. Um, if you have more free reign, we will have more, like, I want to have, like, dog fights with jets. I've seen that you can have a jet, I want to have dog fights with the jets. Very little do I want more than this. I want to be able to, like, fly through the city, like, <laughs> Like, you got like one guy in your tail like, I can't shake him! Oh, it's getting too hot in here! And then Porkins has to eject out of his plane and die in space. Got a problem here. Why is there an eject button? Um, Star Wars reference. Oh man, if you put Star Wars characters in GTA 5, that won't happen. But that'd be really cool to see. But yeah, dog fights with jets over the city. That's what I want. Another thing that would be great in GTA 5, a wingsuit. Think about it, you've seen the guys in the squirrel suits flying around, they like base jump and like shoot down mountains like this high off the ground, but like flying by, it, and it's awesome. It would be awesome in GTA 5. You could go from like building to building, and like when police choppers are coming to get you, you could like wingsuit over to their chopper and like punch them out of the chopper and like take their chopper and kill a bunch of people. It would be awesome. And then just the scenery is beautiful. You could totally go base jumping. You could steal a dirt bike while you're wearing your wingsuit and like ramp off a mountain and like into one of those huge canyons and just wingsuit away, pull a parachute. It would be awesome. Oh man, I can't wait for GTA 5. What's better than trolling in video games, really? So I think uh, the other thing I want to see in the new GTA, GTA 5, I definitely want to see a mode that's kind of like agent hunt mode from Resident Evil 6. So not a lot of people liked Resident Evil 6 and didn't play it very much, but one thing they did was they allowed you to play as the zombies in someone else's single player campaign. Well, I want that in GTA 5 minus the zombies. I think it would be cool if you could control the cops in someone else's single player campaign. So and obviously if you didn't want that you could block it out, but if you left it on then someone could join and every time you alert the cops you know you join someone's game and they can actually control the police that are trying to get you. And the more the you know stars ramp up and whatnot then you know you get this the SWAT and then eventually you'd like the tanks and the army and stuff. That would be awesome. It would be so fun just to get into other people's single player and take them out as the cops while they're trying to you know do whatever whatever nonsense they're trying to do in the single player, blowing up civilians and whatnot. That's what happens in GTA, really. But, yeah, I think it would be cool to be able to mess with other people. You know, I really just want to see a good, unique storyline that I find emotionally... Like, <laughs> come on, nobody plays these games for the story. That's bullshit. Uh, but seriously, no, actually, like, a really good story. I'm a story gamer, and I want to have something that just is absolutely amazing that I can keep coming back to and, and really just enjoy the single player aspect where I'm not just like, oh, I'm going to do this fetch quest. Oh, no, I want to go destroy the city for five minutes. No, 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 I actually want to have, like, pull my heartstrings, Rockstar. Make me feel like I'm one of these gangsters. And when I'm sleeping with a prostitute, 
I want to have some emotions for those prostitutes. Let me know who these <laughs> prostitutes are. Do they have first names? Do they have last names? Uh, are they in abusive, um, pimp ho relationships? I need to know these things. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why I'm single. It's kind of creepy.